Okay, here we go. Issue 86. Let's see what we've got. Uh, compartment for the tool and tool arm. And then, once we've done all that, assembled the compartment with the door, we're going to be joining panels together. And hopefully, we shall end up with something similar to that. So let's see what we've got in this issue. So here we are, all the parts. So we've got the silver container part and the door. And this door, like before, I pre-painted this. We've got some connectors to join the whole sections together. We've got a couple of silver plastic hinges. This arm type thing that looks like something from Doctor Who a bit. And the pivot arm as well. I've got out all the screws ready. Hopefully these are the right ones. And onto the build. If you like these videos, don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, on with the build. And I do apologise in advance. I've still got a bit of this bird flu going. So the first part is we get this little cap end and this goes inverted on the top and then brand new bit of super glue here off eBay. Okay before we crack on a little bit of super glue on the end. Just a little bit. And that fits on like that. Okay. And then a little bit of super glue on this end. And that fits on like that. The next part is to bring these two together. pivot joint and that just goes in there and this is one of those screws that's just got a screw thread just at the tip It's got like a, um, a clicking, it feels like it's clicking when it's moving. And then we bring the glue back out one last time. And this has got a, a notch cut out of it, which corresponds, so it's like a D-shaped hole. think put a little bit of super glue on there don't want to go mad and that will go shaped hole. Back on with the lid. That's that done. And that part looks like that. So now we bring in this silver section compartment as they call it. Pop that in. think yes, that, going that way <coughs> and six mil self-tapping screw 
And that looks like that. And before we do that, I'll just double check with my reference before, just to make sure it corresponds on the website as opposed to what's in the magazine. So I'll be right back. Coming right back, it's two nine millimeter screws, which <clears throat> okay, we'll see what we get on with these, but they are supposed to be nine millimeters, and they go through the outside. It's a shame that's the only thing that lets this build down is the actual screws and the mistakes they make and not defining which screws to use. So. Okay, so that's two nine millimeter screws, not a, two eleven meter screws, millimeter screws, as it says in the magazine. So it's another mistake they've made, and these just get put in to the housing. It's two squares, square sections. There you go, and that opens like that. Looking good. On to the next stage. We'll bring this part back in. And that sort of that door goes through there and then closes and then we just attach it with some more self tapping screws that's all those screwed in boom next we bring these back into play So, on the top there, there is an arrow, and this has got an arrow on it, and they've got to correspond with each other, and we use one of these screws with a little hat on it for these connectors. This one fits on like that. And some more of these little top hat specialities. Now this last one, the arrow has got to be pointing out like we did on a previous part of the build. So that part look now looks like that. That door's not too bad, it's not brilliant, but it's not too bad. Again, I'm just gonna tighten these screws up off screen, be right back. Next stage, bring that part back in, this part back in, and this part that we've just done. So, How, that's how it goes like that it's just a case of marrying up the connectors 
and screwing them in. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. So that is now completed at this stage. And all the arms come out. Doors open. And that's that's how it looks like that. So that's it for this issue. Don't forget to comment and rate and I'll catch you on the next one.